Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivel, and in this video, we're gonna see how we can run Android test, particularly APM test. Okay, so in inside the GitHub runner, like normally when we are developing the APM scripts, we use our emulators uh, in our local machine, and then uh, you know we will you know when we do the CI/CD setup, we will run it in browser stack, source labs, lambda test. There are a lot of cloud providers, and we normally use them. But the but the important thing that we note, need to notice here is running an APM test or your Android iOS test is always expensive because of the cloud infrastructure cost, right? So, but if we can run our Android test inside the GitHub runner itself, then it can save a lot of time and money for us, right? So this will be really, really helpful. Let's say your team cannot spend a lot of money on those stack or other cloud infrastructures. I think this is the best way to have your CHD setup, right? In this video, uh, we will understand how we can run APM Android test uh, inside the GitHub runner itself. So we are going to set up the entire uh, architecture inside the GitHub runner. So these are all the different steps involved. We will come back to this later. But for now, first, we'll try to understand uh, uh, how we can basically, uh, you know, I have an YAML file. And uh, I'm going to create the workflow here to run my Android test. But before that, uh, we want to understand how it is running normally, right? So this is a very simple uh, APM test uh, written in Java. You can use any programming language of your choice. Uh, this is a simple decide capabilities that I have. And I'm trying to run the API demos debug APK. This is an app that is coming from your uh, APM uh, thing. So yeah, once my APM server is up and running on 4723, I will delegate all my tests to there and it is just simply click on the animation. But how we are going to do this, right? So first we will understand how normally this happens in our local environment. We are going to mimic the same thing inside the uh, GitHub runner, right? So first thing, we just need to have your APM up and running. So let's just install the APM, install, uh, let me zoom it a bit, okay, uh, hyphen G APM and you can also uh, run different version of it, but I already have an APM install, so I don't have to execute this command, but in your case, you can execute this. In my case, I already have APM install, okay? So I don't have to do this. Then I want to start the APM. So now when I want to start the APM, I just simply have to execute APM command, that's it. Once you do this, now your APM is up and running and it is listening on the port 4723. Two, now, you need the emulator to run your test, right? So, so let's go to the Android Studio, AVD Manager. Uh, let's wipe out all the data because I might have some some data there. So let's remove that and quickly start the emulator. Again, guys, very closely notice we are, you know, activating this emulator ourselves, and then it's you know we are not doing it with any scripts or stuff stuff like that, right? And then we are now waiting for the Android emulator to be ready. Once it is ready, uh, we are also checking that our IPM server is ready. Then we can now run the test. So IPM server is ready, device is ready. Let's run the test. And IPM server receives the command and delegates it to the uh, Android emulator. And if you notice, it opened the app and it clicked on the animation button. So there is an animation button here that it clicked and we want that to happen. So it's done and the test passed. So one thing that we need to notice is APM is in the listening mode. Uh, let's try to terminate it. Uh, okay, And then let's create a new shell. Uh, and this time, uh, instead of in the listening mode, APM hyphen V. And now instead of this, let's say when you run this command inside the GitHub runner, uh, it will be in the listening mode and your step will not will never stops. Okay, it will be in the listening mode for all the time. So it will not go to the next step. So to avoid that, you can run this particular command. Okay, so this will basically run run this command and then it still listens to your stuff, but it moves to the next thing. Okay, it is listening in the background. Okay, uh, even now you can still execute your test. Let's try to run the same test again. It will still execute, but you won't see the logs here. It's it's listening in the ba uh, background, okay? But you can see your test getting executed here. So this is very important thing to note because if you don't do this, 
uh, you uh, when you set up the CAPM in your GitHub runner, it will keep on listening and will never go to the next step. Okay. Now this is all the ma manual thing that we did, right? So now we're going to mimic the same thing in the YAML file so that we can run the same test inside the GitHub runner. First thing first, let's give the name for the workflow. Uh, run Android test uh, in GitHub runner. Okay. And now for this, I need a, a, a trigger event. For now, I can use workflow dispatch, but I will use a push event because it will auto whenever I push a code, it will automatically get executed. Good. Now, after this, I want to create a jobs for this and I want to give, give a name for it. Maybe I'll ra tell run mobile test. Okay. Very, very, very simple guys. And now you can say steps or first I can define uh, where I want to run this. I want to run this on Mac OS latest. The reason being the Mac OS latest runner, the GitHub provides, right? So let's go there and check what it has. So if you go to this a particular actions runner images and you can see the URL here, uh, I'll also leave this in the description. So this runner comes by default with Java installed, your Maven package is installed. So if you notice your Maven package is already present, Gradle is there. Um, you also have Java versions installed in it, but in Linux, Java 11 is the default, but in Mac OS latest, 8 is the default. So if you want to set up 11, you have to explicitly edit it, okay? And, and you have different packages installed in it. And you can also see uh, if you search for emulator, so it, it also has emulator and different Android SDK build tools, right? You can use them. Similarly, you can also run iOS simulator. So uh, it, it has a lot of iPhone simulators as well. So, so we will use the Mac OS for running our Android and iOS tests. Okay, good. So, uh, so we already have this, right? So we don't have to do anything. Like, let's go there. That's the reason why we are choosing Mac OS. It has both Android and iOS emulators and simulators. Okay, so let's go here. After choosing this, I'll say steps. So let's follow step one by one. Here we need to set up Java because uh, Java is something uh, by default it is Java 8. I want Java 11 because my tests are in Java 11. But I don't have anything complex here, so I can leave it like that. But in case if you need it, you can also go to set up Java and do it. Uh, let's see the steps. First, set up the project. Okay, if you want to set up the project, uh, we know how to do that. So let's remove all the other stuff. Uh, Android test. Okay, I'll remove all this. So demo web. So this is how you pull a project, right? We already seen this. So let's copy this, paste it here, fix on this. So this basically pulls the project. So once this is done, set up Java. By default, Java 8 is fine for me. It should work. My code should work. So I'm not doing it. You can also use setup Java action, setup node. So I'm not going to set up the node here as well because if you notice node.js is already installed. So version 16 is fine for me. I don't have to really do it myself. So it's already there. So I can also ignore that. Um, download APM. Let's see whether this uh, runner image has APM enough. Okay. So it doesn't have any APM installed. So I have to install it myself. So let's go there um, to the workflow. And then I can say a step name uh, setup APM. I mean, there is an uh, action also available for this in the in the marketplace, but it is too old. Uh, I don't know, like this is the in APM server action, but if you notice the last commit that has happened is three years ago. So I don't want to really depend on this one. Uh, I can run these three commands myself. So set up APM. Uh, and here I basically run my own commands. Okay, as I mentioned, you can just put a pipeline like this and then execute your commands. First, I want to install APM in PM install hyphen G APM. And you can mention the version here, B1.22. And after that, you can also check whether it is installed fine. And at the end, basically you have to execute this command, okay? Good, now this is done, set up in APM is done. Let's go to the slide, run the APM. So this is also done, I done this two in one step. Now we need to start the emulator. But starting the emulator, like, I don't know, like I'm not an ADB expert. I can type Android uh, emulator create and then pass a lot of parameters, but that's a pretty hard thing to do. And then after starting the emulator, you need to wait for the time till your emulator is done. But these are all very hard work, but there is there are people who already have 
done and helped us. For example, if you say say uh, emulator start in GitHub Actions, and then if you go here, so there is a guy who created all these things for us. Okay, pretty cool. And what is he says? Uh, installs and updates Android SDK. That's cool. Create a new instead of AVD with you whatever the configuration that provide. Uh, emulator. It, it waits until it launches the emulator. It, it creates the emulator, launches the emulator. Wait until it is ready, and then execute whatever the command that you give. For example, if you want to run this, it will check it. Uh, you want to give whatever the command, it will do it. Okay, and then it will also kill the emulator itself. Do the cleanup. Very very cool. So this is the thing, right? Let's let's copy this. Let's use it. Let's go there, and let's put it here. And if you notice, uh, I want to run my test. I run my APM and raw test. That's cool. Reactive so that's fine. Uh, I, I'm okay with the API level. If I want, I can also change that. But the script I want to run is not this. I want to run my Maven clean test hyphen P Android. And this is the profile Android, which means it will trigger the APM test. Okay. Android test that I have. So that's cool. That's all I have want to do. And uh, is there anything else? That's it. Starting the emulator. Starting the emulator, everything will be taken care of by this. I don't have to wait for it. All these things will be taken care of by this particular step. And I can simply run this command. That's cool. Uh, let's try if this works. Let's commit this code. Um, let's push it. I think on push, it should basically trigger the actions. Let's go to actions and an event is triggered. Again, we can optimize this. And if you go there uh, to the Android emulator, they are telling, let's say you want to run the same test on three different devices on two different target platforms. You can also, you know, use the matrixes to do it. Okay. Um, maybe I'll cover that in the next video, but you have a lot of options. Let's say you want to, uh, uh, while creating the AVD, it might download a few things. You want to cache those things, you can also use this. Uh, you know they, they are telling all these things okay so yeah pretty cool here you can you can just directly copy paste this and make this up and running so different ap levels you can pass from 23 to 29 uh target is all optional so you can check all these things and what all the projects are using them this is pretty cool uh kudos to the creators let's see what's happening in the meantime so it's pulling the project that's fine it's setting up the apm uh it's also fine it also work uh it's running the APM Android test now. So it basically uh, uses this, it configured the emulator and it's running the command itself. So it's in, it's updating the SDK managers, uh, like it mentioned, it's creating an AVD manager. So if you notice, it uses the AVD manager and creating an Android virtual device with this particular default package and using the Android image 29, right? This is what we want to do. And it started the emulator. So emulator, it is checking the one started successfully. It is running ADB devices to check whether the device is up and running. In your local, we can do ADB devices. Okay. And then it will list you the emulator. So it is doing that and it's checking the readiness. Once this emulator is ready, it will run the main uh, command that we give. So pretty cool, right? So it, everything happens automatically and you are not spending any cost. You notice this is the command that we want to execute. It's running it. So again, Maven dependencies. You can optimize this by using Maven cache. Now, yeah, it's running all the downloading dependencies. Okay, it failed somewhere. Let's see what what's the failure. Um, uh, it's drilling something. It's a build failure. Invalid target release eleven. Okay. Because all our project is in Java 11. So I compiled them in Java 11. So, so what I can do is I can introduce a step, set up Java. Okay. So set up Java, get a batch of I copy this. I think this should be fine for me. Copy it from here to this.
the name is basically set up Java and with distribution Java level. So yeah, so I thought Java 8 will work, but it didn't work. So let's do this change and let's remove all these unnecessary comments that we don't need it. Uh, yeah, commit, commit, push. So it's okay, guys. It's, if it's failing, it's fine. We just need to understand from the error and fix it. Like I could have been very ideal and then, you know, I could not, I would have cut this part, but, uh, you know, errors are pretty common for everyone. So we should understand the errors and debug them. That's a very important skill. So, yeah. It's again picking up this whole thing. Maybe I'll pass the recording for a bit. As you notice, the tests have now completed. So it basically set up the whole APM. Uh, I downloaded the APM. It started the APM server, and then it tried to create the uh, Android emulator using this command. And then it's, it's basically waiting for this uh, emulator to be up and running. So they are trying to get the property of this. Uh, and once this returns one, which means the emulator is now started, the printing emulator is booted, and then they are clicking start the test that we want to run. Then it downloads all the Maven dependencies that it needs. Uh, as we did before, we can also optimize this using Maven cache. Uh, so it doesn't waste a lot of time in downloading this. I thought it's very cool. So our test is passed. That's all I want to cover for today. Uh, I also have noticed this terminate emulator is happening automatically. We don't have to do anything ourselves. So I'll, I'll cover about the iOS test in the next video. I hope this is all very interesting stuff to you guys. Please leave that, your, your feedback in the comment sections. I'll also share these videos with your friends. Thank you guys. I will see you guys in another great video. Until then, tada, bye bye from Mudan.